Tonight on GDS, one of the stars of Fox's 911 Lone Star is popping in. Plus, we're making Blue Lagoons on Spirit Day. Oh, it's a good day, stay Hi, and welcome to Good Day Stateline. Thanks so much for being here tonight. It is Thursday, January 19th. I feel like it's the longest month of my life. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for February. We do have a few more weeks to get through first, though. This week is Hobby Week on GDS. We'd love to hear about your favorite hobby, maybe a new hobby for the new year on the GDS Facebook page. Lately, uh, my hobbies have been eating popcorn and fudge bars on the couch and reading Matthew Perry's autobiography on the treadmill. Balance. We have a great show for you tonight, including Anita McBain talking all about her women's mentorship program, and we have some fun planned for you on Spirit Day, too. But before we get to that, it's time for Insta Chat. Every night we're breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story, kicking things off tonight with one of Britney Spears' recent Instagram posts that's causing a ton of social media drama. Not about her sister or her mom, and it's not because of what she is or isn't wearing this time. It's actually a throwback photo of Britney and her ex, Justin Timberlake. I know, I was surprised too. So she posted the photo of them in basketball jerseys, a photo we've seen for years, with the caption, when we used to shoot hoops together, that's when miracles happen. What wasn't surprising was that she deleted the post pretty quickly after posting it. She's very good at that. You know we have the screenshots, though. You can see them inside the Good Day Stateline Instagram story. Also trending tonight, some royal news, thanks to one of America's most popular family, the Kardashians. Kim Kardashian is now the owner of Princess Diana's Amethyst Cross Pendant. She bought it yesterday at an auction for $197,453. Diana actually wore this to a charity gala in London in 1987. The necklace is filled with amethyst and diamonds. Kim wasn't actually at the auction, though her rep was, and according to Page Six, there was a bidding war between four people for the necklace, which ultimately went to Kim. We got photos of that necklace for you inside our Instagram story. And finally tonight, when the President of the United States wants a burger, you assume someone else gets it for him, right? Looks like our current president doesn't mind ordering his fast food himself. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris called their own orders into Ghost Burgers DC on Tuesday. Uh, Ghost Burger is what they ordered with bacon plus crinkle cut fries to celebrate the 10.5 million small businesses that have started during the Biden administration. Uh, we've got the Ghost Burgers employee reaction to Joe calling him in our Instagram story. You want to check that out. We've always got more for you inside our Instagram story too, including the real women who inspired the movie 80 for Brady. Just follow us on Instagram and check out our story. You can find us at Good Day Stateline. We'll be right back with Gina Torres from 911 Lone Star after a look at your Good Day moments.